So hi everyone, welcome to Academically and today's video is dedicated for the PharmD graduates. You are planning to do PharmD or you are doing PharmD or you already done PharmD, now you are looking at the scope in abroad. So many of you always ask me very common question on DM on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube comments that you know, what is the scope of PharmD in Australia, how you can market in Australia, what is the salary for PharmD, what is the advantage to market as a PharmD, they can work as a clinical pharmacist in Australia. So a lot of confusion, a lot of questions from Side. So we have selected top patients, PharmD graduates. So I'm going to discuss today. And my name is Dr. Akram Ahmed. Myself is a diploma in pharmacist and then bachelor of pharmacy and PharmD PB and PhD from Australia. So I'm a around 10 years of teaching experience in India, Malaysia, and Australia as a clinical pharmacy. Okay. So I personally a PharmD graduate, so I can understand your perspective, your question when you are studying in the pharmacy school and um, you think that a lot of scope in abroad, you know. So today we are going to discuss one by one. And if you you are not yet subscribed my channel please subscribe so i can make more videos for you and please do comment below if you have any questions let's start now so the first question is what is the difference between the farm d and d form so farm d means six year integrated course doctor of pharmacy or three year post baccalaureate course in india after the b form but if you are from pakistan then there will be a farm d five year and some other country may also have the farm d five years some country have six year farm d some country have postgraduate farm d like in saudi arabia and US. So there is a totally different course and this is a clinical oriented course. You have to work as a clinical pharmacist in the hospital, hospital setting. But in case of diploma or D form, so D form is a diploma in pharmacy. It is a two year course. So you cannot compare with farm D or D form. So I remember when I was uh, doing my farm D, whenever we went in a hospital, when we are doing the round, ward round. So always the nursing staff, they think that we are a diploma holder. So we, they, they call us, you know, uh, your pharmacy student. So this pharmacy, yeah, your yeah, diploma no 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 this is not diploma this is a farm d or doctor of pharmacy you know so at the time i'm talking to you like 2022 or 202030 but now everyone know this is a new course in india and this is six year farm d course so diploma is a d form is a two year diploma course and farm d is a six year post baccalaureate program or pg course in india and the second question is there, is there any scope or opportunities for farm d graduates in india basically you know so i can say as per the pci so pci i'm saying that you are a, just a pharmacist, whether you are a diploma in pharmacy or a bachelor of pharmacy or PharmD. So there is no difference as per the government, you know. So there, there is any job, government job. So you can apply as a PharmD, you can apply as a B form, you also can apply as a diploma in form. So there is, there is no separate job creation for the PharmD in India. You know, that's why there's not much scope I can say in PharmD in India. So if you are looking to do PharmD or you are doing PharmD, so you must thing to go abroad so here is academically here to help you to migrate in australia canada us you can be wherever you want we can help you to migrate then the next question is the, what is the opportunities for farm graduates in in abroad so in abroad there is a, some country that required minimum four year bachelor degree to practice here. Some country required minimum five year bachelor degree. For example, US, if you want to uh, work as a pharmacist in US, so you must be a PharmD graduate, you can practice here. There are three countries worldwide, they recognize only, they need only PharmD, they do not require for B form. For example, US and Ireland, even in the Saudi Arabia, there's a new exam called SPLE. So PharmD graduate or market degree holders only eligible to apply. B form graduate cannot go to US or Ireland or Saudi Arabia and the other countries they can go as a B form or farm D but farm D is a you know advanced degree so it is easy for them to crack the exam and and then once they are in in this country they will get that definitely the more recognition as compared to B form so there's a good scope for farm D in abroad so next question is is any work experience required to work in abroad so basically there are many countries does not require to have any work experience for example you just completed your farm D from India or Pakistan, now you can live into market. For example, Australia. So Australia does not require to have any work experience. Same for Canada. So give this exam like CAPS exam for Australia or PBC for Canada does not require to have any work experience. Without work experience, you can write the exam. You can 
migrate in these two countries okay so work experience is not mandatory um, to work as a pharmacist in majority of the countries so the next question is that that the b form or farm d is equal so is there any advantage for farm d in abroad basically like you know b form farm d graduate can um, uh, given equal values in abroad or does farm d has more consideration in abroad this is the very very common question student ask me you know so as i mentioned that if you want to work in australia so whether you are a b form holder master degree holder and uh, m form or farm d you have to go with the same steps you have to become a pharmacist yes there is a more opportunity for you you can easily you can pass the exam when you are attending any interview they will give you the more consideration also you have more knowledge so easy for you to crack the exam especially the, the interview and also you can become a clinical pharmacist easily as compared to the b form so there is a over advantage for you to migrate and next question is you just completed your 12 now you are asking so what is the which pharmacy degree is the best to migrate abroad like bachelor of pharmacy or pharmd or m form so first of all if you are planning to migrate abroad after 4 5 5 or 6 years i can say that you can go for nursing course better than the pharmacy course now in this the three course like bachelor of pharmacy or pharmd or m pharmacy is the better so i can say the pharmd is better course you can go for pharmd as compared to b form or or, or m form as, like after pharmd you are eligible to work in us ireland canada uk so all the world basically worldwide you can practice anywhere but if you just go for b form to so many countries you are not eligible to practice as i mentioned in my earlier question so pharmd is a better course in pharmacy all about like b form of pharmacy so you can choose pharmd especially if you are looking to migrate abroad the question is that, that which is the best and easiest country to go and considering the both visa and more chances of getting well paid job you know so i can say when you are planning to migrate in abroad so you have to consider three very important parameter one is the exam you can crack the exam you know, easy exam to crack secondly the visa are you getting the can the particular country can give you the visa especially the pr with a permanent visa you can settle there easily and, and third is the easy getting a job is easy so um, in 2024 to that job is may the easiest country i can say the australia for you so australia is the high salary and very easy process so you can easily you can migrate to australia so australia is the first preference you must give as compared to canada or us and uk and and very very uh, low cost you can migrate to australia other country you need to pay very high fees okay so australia is the best country you are chobis and pachis ke liye for farm degree so must you try for australia as a farm degree graduate how much you can earn as a farm degree graduate in india in abroad so if you are looking in india india in generally 15000 to 20000 around salary you can get as if you are working as a pharmacist in hospital or as a clinical farm is generally uh, they give fraction for this much salary some hospital might be give 22000 also but this is not very high salary you know but some if you are working in farm vigilance or clinical research might you get 25 to uh, 30000 also but normally they 15 to 30000 salary in india especially for farm d but if you are looking to migrate in australia to australia means your salary hoti hai it can be around up to the 4 to 5 lakh per month once you become a registered pharmacist in australia so up to 5 lakh 4 to 5 lakh per month you can earn as a pharmacist in australia next question is the what is the future scope of farm d graduate so farm d graduate i can say there is a very good or bright future for you in australia so you can become a clinical pharmacist in australia you just need to crack the this caps exam plus english and then become a pharmacist in australia then separately you have to attend some basically the classes from shp society of hospital pharmacists to australia they offer course for to become a clinical pharmacist or consultant pharmacist you can become easily in australia so there will be a very good scope and high salary you can earn in australia so i can say bright future for you in abroad not in india and academically is here to help you so if you have any question leave a comment below directly you can contact to on this number on our website you can visit um, uh, if you are looking to migrate uh, abroad as a farm graduate and then the last question is is caps australian exam is expensive so i can see if you are looking to migrate in abroad to australia one of the cheapest option for you you can migrate from india to australia or whatever your country so if we compare this um, canada or uh, us or uk so for example in uk you have to go first for auspep and then you can pursue it might take six to eight years to to get pr visa in uk and very difficult to survive there but in case of australia very very minimum cost around 5 to 6 lakh rupees you only need to invest total cost 
including the academically fees and then you can be yeah, admitted to market australia you know so not much money you required is not very expensive course now i can say to migrate to australia and if you have any other question related to farm day i'm happy to answer and we will make some other videos and thank you for watching this video